this amazing attraction that we've all been working on. Um, it's a privilege for us to be working with our friends and our partners at Merlin uh, Magic Making, uh, with Legoland and with ETF. And uh, to unveil to you today what is going to be uh, obviously uh, a groundbreaking dark ride experience for us and that features a real world first in the application of technology. For the first time, we're actually putting the guests in the heart of the storytelling. And we're going to make them a part of this ride, as you saw there, where they're in the media and they become part of real-time storytelling for the first time. And uh, we're doing this using some proprietary software that we developed on Monotrack. And specifically to the scene that you'll be able to come see on our booth, we're using our attribute recognition module. Um, so this is a technology that uses computer vision, tracking systems, and uh, special tracking algorithms that analyze the guests as they get into the ride vehicle and they go through the experience. And then in real time, we're uh, going to be analyzing their um, hair colors, we're going to be looking at their hairstyle, we're going to be deciding whether they've got glasses on or not, uh, the color of the clothes that they're wearing. And then in real time, when they get into that magic moment scene, they're going to be transformed into that amazing life-size Lego minifigure. Um, and that's all done seamlessly while the guests are passing through this experience. This approach really is uh, a new way of delivering the next level of design in attractions. And obviously uh, bringing guest personalization to attraction in this way is very unique and very exciting for all of us. And the technology behind it is completely transparent. It's invisible to the guests as they go through the experience. And of course, that's very important because we want this to be a magical moment. We want this for a, to be something that the guests obviously really wonder how did this happen. So um, for us, uh, if, if you come over to the Holovis booth, then you'll be able to see this uh, live on just the one scene that we've replicated over there. Um, the holidays we've been involved in this project right from the very early days, helping uh, the team with the concept design work, the creation of the media, creation of the uh, software that's been required to do this, and then of course the building of the attraction itself, physically with the hardware and the software. So we're really proud to have been involved in this. We're proud of the relationships we've got with our client here, with Merlin, with Legoland, and with ETF. This is the first time we've really worked together on something like this and to bring the amazing capability of this ride system together with our ability to create that magic with interaction, we're really excited about it. I'm lowering this because I'm shorter. Um, so now you want to see the ride vehicle, yes? Yes? Okay. So I want to thank both Stuart and Ruth for speaking today. Um, you will catch me over at the Hall of this booth later to see what I look like as a Lego minifigure. And 1378, really? Yes. And we're going to do a 3 2 1 to unveil what the ride vehicle looks like. Okay, everybody? And 3 2, two 1. one. Thank you. Uh, two people I want to introduce as well today. If Matt Besterman, can you raise your hand? There you go. This is Matt. Matt is PR manager for Legoland New York Resort. If you have any specific questions for New York, you can ask him. Chloe Boehm. Chloe, raise your hand. Chloe is a PR with Legoland Florida Resort. Any specific questions, please ask Chloe. And uh, we thought we'd do Q&A inside the vehicle, because why not? So I have this mic. I'm going to take this with us. <coughs> and if you have specific questions for us, you may come up here. Matt's going to help lead. We have press kits available. We have a small token of our thanks for you coming here today.